Now let's run our first Python test, our first Selenium test, right? So what I'll do, I'll right click over here, I'll create a new Python file and give it a name as first test dot py, right? And uh, from Selenium, I'll gonna import web driver, right? And then I'll say driver equal to web driver dot and I'll select Firefox over here. You can see Eclipse is uh, giving us suggestions uh, as soon as we proceed further. And then I'll say driver dot get and see get the method URL. Except URL and I'll give the URL as http google dot com. So I'll give up, up till this much and I'll save this and I'll click on run and run it as python run. So let's see, it opens up the Firefox browser and now it's navigating to google.com. So same thing I can do it uh, with the sublime editor as well. Although the sublime editor is paid, so if you just copy this thing over here and paste it over here, you need to save this file. Again, I'll go to desktop and I'll store this file somewhere in some folder so I'll give uh, the name as uh, first test.py and there's a build option in, inside the sublime editor as well I'll go to uh, tools and then build and it will uh, build this python project and execute it and it'll go to this browser I'll show you one more way of doing it. Open up command prompt and go to the directory where your Python file is. So it's somewhere over here. And I'll just give this file over here. Like this. I'll just cd to this location. I'll say Python first test.py so it will again do the same thing we'll go to firefox and execute the entire code right same thing we can do it on other browsers we can do it on chrome we can do it on ie if you want to execute it on ie then say dot ie since we have already configured the environment variables, uh, we just need to run this for IE and it will going to do the same thing. Same goes for Chrome. If you want to work on Chrome, say dot Chrome and save this, run this again. Now Chrome, uh, I have actually broken up the Chrome browser, so it will not going to work on my Windows machine. I actually need to uninstall it and reinstall it and then it's going to fix this issue. But I'm going to show you the Chrome examples on my Mac machine. So just be with me. So this is how we can execute our code, the very first uh, Selenium script on Python. All right.